Hey all, well, um, this is a follow-up to the RTX 3060, 4060, 5060, and the 4060 mobile uh, optimized settings for Borderlands 4. We uh, missed a few I and I tweaks, so we'll present them here. There are two primary ones. One that enables hardware lumen for direct lighting, and the other one disables special effects. Hardware lumen improves visual fidelity a tad bit, but it improves performance as well, especially the frame times. Special effects don't have any notable impact on fidelity and they can improve performance by up to 4%. Optionally, on older GPUs or the lower end parts like the RTX 4060 Mobile or the RTX 3060, we recommend disabling Lumen, reducing nanite complexity. You can also disable volumetric fog, but we recommend against it as it can lead to visual artifacts. Here's how uh, the RTX 4060 laptop GPU performs with and without tweaks. It's in the optimized settings from our video. Uh, the 4060 laptop GPU averages 50 to 52 FPS with lows of 33. With the tweaks, it delivers a solid 60 FPS with 1% uh, lows of 38 FPS. That's a 12% improvement in the lows. If you're on a higher end card like the 4080, 5070 Ti, or 4090, or anything higher than a 4070, um, we still recommend uh, say enabling hardware ray tracing or hardware lumen. This dramatically improves the stability. As you can see, um, hardware lumen is 5% faster on average, but the frame pacing is much better. The lows improved by 12%. Here, um, with software lumen, there are quite a few spikes. This one, this one, this one. With hardware lumen, there are only minor ones. So, it's much more stable. If you want to see the difference, here you go. This is software on the right side and hardware on the left. Now, the difference is negligible, but um, hardware lumen improves, uh, slightly improves the lighting quality. For example, here, with hardware lumen, the indirect lighting quality improves a bit. This looks almost exactly the same on both sides, but with hardware lumen, the shadows in the distance, the ambient shadows in the distance are more detailed. And again, this one. With hardware lumen, the shadows on the pipes here, there's these pipes, these pipes up there. The shadows are more consistent and more detailed. Hardware lumen sort of uses a low resolution for the diffuse shadows, but hardware lumen improves it quite a bit. But overall, the differences are minimal, but the important part is you gain a fair bit of performance, especially in choppy areas. Before we move on to the gameplay, um, here are the settings that were used. Um, the 4060 mobile were test was tested at 1080p. It's tested at 1080p full screen with um, balanced upscaling, no Frame gen, texture quality was set to high, foliage to medium, shadow to medium, directional shadows to high, and lighting reflections and shading to medium. We also reduced post-processing to low, but that doesn't really make much of a difference either way. Here we have um, 
the 4060 Mobile, running the game at 1080p with balanced upscaling and the before-mentioned optimized settings on the left side. And the right side also includes the i9 tweaks, including it also disables Lumen. So you can see the difference in lighting. So with the i9 tweaks, uh, the 4060 laptop GPU is 10 to 20% faster. Average is around 15% faster, but it can go up to 20 under heavy load. The frame time graph also on the right side, as you'll see, is much more smoother, which means a more consistent experience, fewer stutters, fewer lags. Don't mind the input lag added by FrameGen. We recommend you enable Lumen and just use the INI tweaks to disable effects and um, enable hardware Lumen. So you have FrameGen here with the hardware Lumen tweak. It's giving a uh, over 70 FPS during combat and um, 80 to 90 FPS uh, while you're traversing or just explore. Compared to just the optimized settings on the middle, so averages between 40 to 45 to 50, just using balanced upscaling with the i9 tweaks minus lumen gets you around 55 to 60 it drops to 50 occasionally but yeah if you're okay with frame gen and i think it's fine when you're running at um over 50 fps and your old output is like over 80 fps so i think that's pretty stable uh so you can enable the one and that leaves you with all the quality options enabled you just you're just relying on hardware lumen for improved performance and you disable effects. That's it. So um, that was the 4060 mobile. We recommend the same settings for the RTX 3060 desktop. Uh, you can use FSR quality upscaling with frame gen, FSR 3 frame gen, or you can download the FSR 3 frame gen mod from Nexus to use DLSS upscaling with FSR 3 frame gen. So uh, for the i9 tweaks, you need to add this chunk for the 4060 desktop. And for like this chunk is required for the hardware tracing part. So this part needs to be added to all of them. For the 3060 and the 4060 mobile, um, or if you're playing on the 4060 desktop, 5060 desktop at 1440p with frame gen, which isn't a very consistent experience, without this, we recommend these two. This junk, create an engine.ini file and add these lines. For the game user settings .ini, um, set effects quality to zero. Do this on any GPU. We didn't observe any negative quality implications. They just get a four percent boost. Maybe it 
I'll probably disable a few filters or secondary lighting shaders, but we didn't really notice it. So, yeah. If you're playing on a 4060 desktop or a 5060, then you'll just need to um, do the tweaks for hardware lumen. Here, as you can see, hardware lumen improves frame rates by 2 to 3 percent, but the more notable impact comes in the form of frame time consistency and the lows 12 percent again, 12 percent boost in terms of lows and the big spikes all the stuttery parts are gone with hardware lumen and the overall um, frame time consistency is markedly better here we have um 1080p balanced on the 4060 desktop on the right side it's software lumen and the left it's hardware lumen So, as you can see, um, hardware lumen is always up a few frames ahead, but the more important part is that there's much less stuttering. The drops are more or less frequent, or much less frequent. And yeah, overall, you just stay over 60 FPS for the most part. On the right side, you can see drops much more often. In this one, uh, we enabled frame gen along with hardware lumen. And um, since we have the additional uh, headroom, we also scaled up all the other settings to high. Foliage high, shadows high, and lighting, reflections, shading, everything is on high. So you get an average of over 70 FPS, 70 to 75. And drops to um, 60 under heavy load. Now this is um, this was this gameplay was during the recording time, so the actual frame rates will always be five percent higher with um, even fewer. FPS drops. So yeah, you can get an average of 70 to 75 FPS using frame gen, plus hardware lumen, effects disabled, and everything on high or very high. You can use the you can use frame gen at 1440p, but we recommend lowering the settings to medium. The same used on the 4060 mobile. Use those settings with frame gen plus hardware lumen, or if that's not stable enough, just completely disable lumen, reduce the nanite complexity, and um, that should get you to 60 at least. So that's it for this one. Um, this was our fourth video, I think. If you liked it, hit a like, um, subscribe, and do let us know if you want us to do something in particular.